Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to write a Java program for generation of electricity bill. Generation of electricity bill. First of all, you should know that there are two types of electricity bill connections. First one is domestic type and second one is commercial type. These domestic types are used for houses and commercial type are used for businesses. Okay. And you should also know that the charges for domestic purposes are low when compared to commercial. And we have different set of formulas for domestic and commercial. So for domestic, these are the formulas. So we are going to call them as slabs, slab 1, slab 2 and so on. And you should also know that the bill is going to be generated based on the number of units, number of units. Okay. So how to get this number of units? Very simple. Just subtract the previous month reading from the current month reading. Then you will get this number of units. Suppose if number of units are within this first slab. So for the first 100 units, the cost is rupees 1 per unit. And from 101 to 200 units, the cost is rupees 2.50 per unit. And from 201 to 500 units, the cost is rupees 4 per unit and anything above greater than 500 it is going to be rupees 6 per unit now i will show you a very simple example so i will calculate for domestic purpose so if number of units are suppose take 400 so in this 400 for the first 100 units the cost will be only rupee 1 per unit right so for the first 100 the cost will be only 1 rupee Plus, see here second slab for the next 100 units cost will be rupees 2.50 right so for the next 100 units it is 2.50 okay and so already 100 is over another 100 is over so we are left with 200 right so for the remaining 200 units the cost will be 4 per unit so for the remaining 200 units the cost will be rupees 4 so you calculate it 100 into 1 is 100 plus 100 into 2.50 250 plus 200 into 4 that is 800 so total you are going to get 1150 rupees okay so this is how you are going to calculate and the same procedure you have to follow for commercial also but with this set of rules you have to calculate okay so for commercial for the first 100 units it is rupees 2 right for the remaining slabs these are all the costs okay and in the question he is asking that Create a class with the following members. So what is the first member of the class? Consumer number, consumer name, previous month reading, current month reading and type of electricity bill connection whether it is a domestic or commercial. So based on all these things we have to calculate the bill amount. Okay. And now first of all we will see the output. So first of all we are going to take input from the user. Okay. So these are all the inputs. Enter the consumer number, consumer name previous units, current units and the type of connection. So one is for domestic and two is for commercial. And based on this, first output is calculating the number of units, right? So subtracting the previous units from the current units. So we got 400 here. So based on this number of units, we have to calculate the bill. And finally, this is the output what is going to be printed. This is the heading. And once again, we are printing all the details of the customer. And finally, we are printing the bill, okay? And in the program, this is how our class will look like. First of all, declare all the variables like consumer number, consumer name, meter reading, type of connection, everything we have to declare as variables. And mainly it is going to have three functions or three methods. First one is input data. So in this we are going to read data from the keyboard. So data for consumer number, consumer name, everything. In this method we are going to read. And this is the main method. Where we are going to calculate the bill all formulas we are going to write here and finally displaying all the information along with the final bill so this is the structure of our class now we will see how to write the program step by step first of all write the class electricity bill the members of the class are consumer number next is consumer name it is of type string next previous reading it is integer Next current reading, it is also integer. Next type of connection, so I am taking it as an integer. If EB connection is 1, it is domestic. If it is 2, it is commercial. Okay. 
So one for domestic, two for commercial. And we require two more variables. First one is number of units, right? And one more variable is bill, which is of type double. So int units and double bill. So after declaring all the variables, now we have to write the first method input data, so which will read all the data from the user. So write void input data, input data. The first statement is creating the scanner object. We all know that a scanner class is used to read the input from the keyboard. Okay, so write scanner sc is equal to new scanner. So connect this object with the keyboard. So write system dot in. And this scanner class is in java.util package. So you have to import java.util package. Import java.util.star. Or else you can import only that class. Now ask the user to enter the consumer number. So system dot system dot out dot print enter consumer number. So consumer number is equal to so copy this variable name. Consumer number is equal to sc dot next int. So sc is the object name. Okay. So sc dot next integer. So we all know that next int is used for reading the integer, right? And next read the consumer name. Enter consumer name. So consumer name is string, right? So copy the variable name. Consumer name is equal to sc dot next so next is used to read the string right and next read the previous meter units okay system dot out dot print enter previous units previous reading is equal to sc dot next int so here units are integers right so you have to use next int and similarly read the current units system dot out dot print system dot out dot print enter current units copy the variable name here current reading is equal to Again, it is an integer, so write sc dot next int, and finally read the type of connection, whether it is commercial or domestic. Okay, so system dot out dot print connection type. User has to press one for domestic and two for commercial. So one or two, one or two. So write electricity bill connection type is equal to sc dot next int so here you are reading connection in the form of integers right if it is one domestic if it is two it is commercial so i am using next int here okay so with that our input method is over close the input method and now we have to write the second method calculate underscore bill method okay so this is the important method in this program so write void calculate bill so in this first we have to calculate the number of units so write the formula for units units is equal to so how to calculate the units current reading minus previous reading current reading minus previous reading put a semicolon and now we will try to print the number of units just for the information sake so write system dot out dot print alien number of units plus units and now here we have to write a switch statement inside the switch statement we have to write two cases case one is for domestic connection and case two is for commercial connection so write the switch statement switch off now observe here whatever the user gives the type of connection that will be stored in a variable called eb connection if eb connection contains one it means the connection is domestic if it contains two the connection is commercial so we have to write this variable here eb connection electricity bill connection open the switch now write case 1 now see here we have to write all these rules into java statements so for this we have to write a series of if else statements so for the first if the condition is the number of units are 100 right so write the first case if units greater than or equal to 0 if units greater than or equal to 0 and units less than or equal to 100 so this is the first case for this case the formula for bill is bill is equal to now observe here for first 100 units the bill is rupees 1 per unit right so simply write units into 1 rupee okay that means if the bill is 50 then 50 into 1 if the units are 70 then 70 into 1 okay next else if what is the second slab if the units are from 101 to 200 it is 2.50 per unit right 
So, else if units greater than 100 and units less than or equal to 200. This is the second slab. Now, how to calculate the bill? Bill is equal to, so for the first 100 units, it is only 1 rupee, right? So, write 100 into 1. See here, if the number of units are 170, for example, for the first 100 units, it is 100 into 1. How to get the remaining units? That is 70 units, right? So, how to get this value 70 is number of units minus, you try to remove this 100, okay? So, units minus 100. Then you will get 70, right? So, for this 70, the bill will be 2.50. So, this into 2.50. So, like this, we have to write in the program, okay? So, 100 into 1 plus units minus 100 multiplied by 2.50. So, keep it in parenthesis. Put a semicolon. Now, write one more else. So, if the units are more than 200, so we will come to this else. So, see here, what is the third slab? From 201 to 500 units, it is rupees 4, right? So, else if units greater than 200 and units less than or equal to 500. So, in this case, calculate the bill. Bill is equal to, for the first 100 units, it is same, 100 into 1 plus, for the next 100, 100 into 2.50 rupees plus. Now, for the remaining units, the cost is rupees 4, right? So, how to find the remaining units? So, units minus so, try to subtract this 100 as well as this 100. Total, subtract 200. Units minus 200. So, for all this, the rate will be 4 rupees. Put in parenthesis and keep a semicolon. And the final else. So, if the units are more than 500, write the last case. Bill is equal to, copy all these things. Plus, see here, the number of units are greater than 500. So, we will get the formula like this. For the first slab, this is the formula. For the second slab, this is the formula. In the third slab, we have totally how many units? 201 to 500 means total 300 units. So multiply it by 4. Okay. And for the units greater than 500, here we have 700 minus 500. That is equal to 200 units. So how to write this? The place of 700, write units. Units minus 500 okay units minus 500 into what is the cost 6 rupees so like this you have to write the formula so write the formula for third slab that is 300 into 4 rupees and now calculate the remaining units so how to calculate remaining units units minus so separate all these units 300 100 and 100 totally 500 right so units minus 500 into what is the cost 6 rupees right into 6 okay keep it in parenthesis and put a semicolon at the last so this is case 1 and at the end of the case write the break statement and now write the second case the second case is for commercial connection so for commercial connection these are the formulas so we will get the same if else structure but there will be change in the cost so wherever you have 1 replace it with 2 and replace all these rates with these rates. So copy all these things whatever you have and paste here. And here the cost is for the first 100 units it is 2 rupees. And the second slab is 4.50. So here replace 2.50 with 4.50. And here for the first 100 units it is 2 rupees right. And next third slab here replace 1 with 2. And replace 2.50 with 4.50. And third slab is 6 rupees and last slab is 7 rupees, right? 6 and 7 rupees here. So here replace 4 rupees with 6 rupees. And similarly here also, this is 2 rupees and this is 4.50. Here it is 6 rupees. And the last slab is 7 rupees. Okay. And close the switch statement. And also close this calculate bill method also. So we wrote the first method, second one. And now we have to write the display method. This is a simple one. Just display all the information of the customer and at last display the amount as well. Okay. So write the method void display. So in order to save the time, I have not recorded all these things. So these are all simple printf statements. You can easily do this. So after this display method, close the class also. So in this class, we wrote three methods, input data method, calculate bill method and display method. So now below this we have to write the main class. Now class electricity bill write the main method public static void main of string ARGS. Now create the object for this class. Okay. So create the object for this class. So write electric bill 
P is equal to new electric bill and now call all the three methods one by one. First one is input data method B underscore input input data right and next call the next method B dot calculate bill and the last method is display right B dot display B dot display close the main method and close the main class now save this program and compile it so I have already saved come to the command prompt compile the program and if you get any errors we will correct them now okay press enter yeah so here we have given double equal to right so here remove one equal to remove here also now save the program and again compile it okay no errors now execute it enter the consumer number enter the consumer name enter the previous reading suppose it is 500 enter the current reading suppose it is 900 and press enter is asking the type of connection if it is domestic choose one press enter so now you got the bill like this number of units are 400 and this is the bill the total bill is 1150 rupees so hope you understood this program thank you for watching